नमोंग विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते जय पताका स्वामी नामिने नमो आचार्य पदाय निताय कृपा पदाय ने गौरकथा धाम दाय नगर ग्राम तारिणी नमोंग विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणी निर्विशेष सुन्नवादी पश्चत्व दिशतारिणी रेस्पेक्टेड गुरु महाराज प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माय रेस्पेक्टफुल ओबेसेंसेस एट योर लोटस फीट on the occasion of your best puja all glory to sila prabhupad all glory to you shrimad bhagavatam explains that pure devotional service is apratihata it is uninterrupted no impediments of this material world can stop pure devotional service so your life is the perfect example of that apratihata bhakti from the very beginning of your devotional service till today you went through so many challenges on the path of your devotional service but your devotional service continued in the same way whether you are in a favorable condition or whether you are in a challenging condition so in order to understand what is a pure devotional service in order to understand what is a uninterrupted devotional service your life is the example to learn what is that devotional service one of the quality which attracts me so much is your dedication for the service of your spiritual master his divine grace is bhakti vedanta swami sila prabhupada and uh, the service which was given to you by sila prabhupad you took it so seriously so some services are very simple and small some services are very very big and very very responsible but you treated all the services equally with equal importance because the services given by your spiritual master is the life and soul of your life so that inspires me so much your dedication to your spiritual master so i am a very fallen disciple of yours so on this auspicious bas puja day i pray at your lotus feet that i can get it iota of that quality of yours and make my spiritual life a grand success so every year bas puja you reveal or convey some message to your disciples and the devotees of iskon so i have been observing that last uh, few years you have been emphasizing the principle of boiling the milk which was mentioned by sila prabhupad prabhupad wanted that his devotees his disciples his followers should become very advanced in krishna consciousness so he emphasized the training and education of his disciples and prabhupad encouraged also instructed his disciples to study his books very deeply so i have been observing that you are emphasizing that point in recent years very strongly and you are telling that in order to no prabhupad in order to purify our life properly in order to be serious in krishna consciousness it is very very important to study sila prabhupad's books so you have been emphasizing now to get the degrees what prabhupad wanted all of his students to get bhakti shastri bhakti vaibhava bhakti vedanta bhakti sarvabhoma and uh, prabhupada also said that in order to be a brahmin initiated you should be bhakti shastri for sadhyas it is recommended to be to have bhakti vaibhava and to become an initiating spiritual master prabhupada expected that 
they should have bhakti vedanta degrees and i have been seeing that you are emphasizing this points of sri prabhupad again and again because you are a leader you are an exemplary spiritual leader you can see the future so for better future of iskon for a better spiritual future of iskon society you are conveying this a uh, very important aspect of studying Srila Prabhupada's books very deeply. So Guru Maharaj, I pray at your lotus feet that I can take this instruction of yours very seriously and I can direct my consciousness, I can dedicate my time, energy and attention to read Prabhupada's books very, very deeply and so that I can understand the mood and uh, mission of Srila Prabhupada and dedicate my life for the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to spread this Sankirtan mission all over the world. So Guru Maharaj, you are very much concerned. You are always in anxiety. How we can reach out to the people to give Krishna consciousness. And uh, you always want the glories of Srila Prabhupada, glories of Sriman Mahaprabhu to spread in different parts of India and different parts of the world. So you don't want the glories of yours. You always want to spread the glories of your spiritual master. And you also want the glories of Sivan Mahaprabhu to spread all over the world. And that is the quality of, a, of an ideal spiritual master. So you are always concerned how to reach out to the new people. And you are also very much concerned those who are already in Krishna consciousness how they can continue their Krishna Consciousness journey. So caring for the devotees and preaching, con preaching Krishna Consciousness to the new people is uh, the main attention of you. So Guru Maharaj, I pray at your lotus feet on this auspicious Vyasa Puja day that I can also get this uh, quality of yours and uh, forgetting my own interest I can also dedicate my life for the welfare of others by spreading Krishna consciousness and also I can serve the Vaishnava devotees by serving them in whatever capacity I can. So taking care of the devotees and spreading Krishna consciousness should be my life and soul. So on this day I'd like to take this opportunity to humbly beg at your lotus feet to forgive me for all my offenses committed knowingly and unknowingly. So please always keep me at your shelter so that I don't become attracted by Maya and I can focus my life in serving you, Sila Prabhupada and entire Guru Parampara with proper mood and attitude. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Your spiritual son Sankarsunitai Dasu.